Hello and welcome to another video by myself, James Lawson-Smith. As some of you know, YouTube have been making a lot of updates recently. One of the most notable is the new YouTube homepage, which is now the default layout, and unfortunately you can't switch back to the old one. Now, some of you that are subscribed to the API um, database list would have got an email yesterday letting them know that there's going to be some disruption in the API service uh, yesterday. Now, the reason for this is today that they YouTube have announced that the iframe embed code is now the default embed option when you go to embed a video. Now, the old way was using an object tag, which would use the old Flash player, which would use up a lot of resources on a person's computer and was also not compatible with um, iPads and iPods and anyone who didn't have Flash installed on their systems. With the new iframe player, it will work on iPads, iPods, and people's computers that you know that don't have Flash and and doesn't stress out their system so much. So this is the actual blog post, which I'll put a link to down in the description, so you can get all of the details. So what does this mean for the normal user? Well, this is what the old object embed code option looked like. You just had your standard YouTube player, which many of us are familiar with when you've seen YouTube videos on websites. Now the new iframe player is slightly different. You've got a couple of new options. You have an option that you can add that video straight to your watch later list. So when you go, when you actually go to YouTube, it will appear in your watch later list on the new YouTube homepage. You also have the option to watch it directly on YouTube and the to the annotation and caption op option menus are now a lot more easily accessible than they used to be. You have to go into sort of sub menus and things like that. You can also right click and you can copy the video URL. You can copy the video URL at the current time. So all the options that you have on YouTube are available in the iframe embed player. Okay, so when you actually go to embed the code, you just uh, select embed underneath any of the videos that you'd like to embed. Now, there are a couple of things that they've taken away. One of them, the most notable, is you don't have the options for changing the colors anymore. Now, I don't know if this is going to be something that they're going to bring back in the future or not. Um, I really can't say whether they will or not. I mean, it is possible with iframe and HTML5, which is the um, coding that they're using for, for this, but I honestly can't say whether they will or not. Hopefully they will. Because I know, again, a lot of people have complained already that the color options have disappeared. Unfortunately, without doing a whole load of coding and a lot of jiggery-pokery yourself, it's not easily done, unfortunately. So you do have the option to go back to the old embed code, but I would suggest you don't. Um, as I said, I would suspect that the old object embed code is going to be you know, sort of slowly phased out over time. And also, you know, if you embed using the old embed code, it's not going to work if somebody tries to view it on an iPad or an iPod. And as, as you know, iPads and iPods are very, very popular. So that's all the updates I have for you on the new iframe embed options. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below or you can send me a message. This has been James Lawson-Smith. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.